And definitely against Yoshi, who's a very floaty, a very air movable character. You might see the Falco, you know, to have the long lasting aerial hitboxes. Can I contend with that? Oh no, it's a Ken player. Ooh, Ooh interesting matchup. Oh though. yes, extra yep. Okay. Yep. Um, Ken, we know we we have uh, we have Nido and SoCal uh, yeah. being our best Ken uh, player. This matchup should be very interesting. It's going to be important for Falco to uh, keep his distance between them, either utilizing laser or uh, those um, up tilts, forward airs, nares, anything. But uh, starting off with a scrap situation, Larry in the percent deficit immediately. But, I mean, Larry doesn't tend to keep that deficit for long, especially when Falco gets one hit on you, and all of a sudden you're in a cutscene. Um, extraordinary trying to go for a focus attack there to get through the forward air, but Forder is able to knock it out and getting hit with both lasers. Going off with that down air attempt. Oh, gets the hit on the oh, that Phantasm. Was, Here we go. Whoa, that was insanely good. Instead of going for a back air that was too confirmed there, went for the up tilt because he used the focus attack. All right. Oh, amazing forward tilt into a tech chase. It's a trade, unfortunately, there for Extraordinary. If he had gone that hit, he might have been able to combo into the Shoryu. Shoryu's not going to kill, but, you know, one more, like, down tilt or even uh, proximity. Oh, or just doing it raw. He just raw Shoryu kenned him. That was able to take it with an upper hitbox. Falco being a spacey is a little bit lighter. And cooking that bird like a Ralph rotisserie chicken Ralph's right there. Ralph's chicken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Getting hit with the Hadouken. Larry needs to find the kill here. Uh, four throw off stage. Oh, I love that using the focus. Oh, but he gets down tilted yeah. anyways. Wow. He went for an FADC there. Wasn't able to um, to get the full armor there. But interesting Hadouken. I think he was trying to snap the ledge there. But uh, getting hit with that up throw into double up air. No, maybe he was trying to do the thing where sometimes Shoto's uh, taught to back to center stage to get the hitbox that's oh, very yeah, active. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, he missed the castle. Going for a Shoryuken, it didn't uh, hit the right, ray, right way. And Larry's now on the platform trying to shark uh, Extraordinary. But... Oh, wow. Catches the jump, and you know what? This is what I'm saying. Like, his Falco's good, but it's nowhere near the level of his wolf. Yeah, so we might see that. the wolf early. Beautiful light Tatsu ascension into the down tilt. Another down tilt beating out the side B. Larry's getting a little bit antsy with these side B's, but baiting out a uh, sure you can up tilt back air. Extraordinary. I don't know if he touched the stage. He might not have a jump, but getting hit with the upper hitbox of sure you can back to center stage. I mean, it's kind of going to be hard for Falco to contend with Shoryu just because Shoryu is disjointed with that fist. Yeah, it's like the thing that you want to do as Falco, you want to fly up there, you want to use your uh, high jumps, but amazing down air, sending uh, Extraordinary right back down into the blast zone. Beautiful dash back, anticipating the Tatsumaki and getting a drag down combo here. Going for another forwarder into drag town, up tilt, double jump from Extraordinary. Focus attacks going to be able to get him back to center stage. You know, already at 60%, oh. but you know what? All you need is a down tilt with any of the Shotos. Yeah, Extraordinary finding uh, three kills with sure you can as to be expected with Ken, but was able to punish Larry for going for these defensive jump aways and finding the upper hitbox of sure you can just going to be enough to take it. And uh, we see there him confirming into sure you can. So I'm sure Larry's going to switch characters here unless he does believe in his, uh, his, um, his Falco. Right. I mean, we could also see the Brawler, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd be excited. I didn't see yeah. him put a brawler. So. No, oh, we're, we're seeing the wolf, wolf yeah. Okay. Yes. Larry's just like, okay, I underestimated my opponent just ever so slightly. This is a super, super stacked tournament at this point, you know, and you really can't afford to underestimate your opponents too much. I think this pick will uh, be more beneficial for Larry. Larry obviously having one of the strongest wolves. And uh, he's going to be able to utilize uh, wolf's range to uh, uh, set tempo on um, Extraordinary's um, approach options. Definitely the one advantage that Wolf has over Falco is the better zoning capabilities with the laser, because the laser does cover above him, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he caught his jump there. Yeah, air dodge back from Larry, not trying to get into an edge guard situation with no jump down throw into dash attack, sending a Extraordinary back to the ledge. Ooh, I like that dash back, maybe trying to bait out a shore you can. Good Nair finding a hole in the frame data to punish, going for a Tatsu there. Damn, here we go, catches the landing with the grab. Extraordinary getting out of that combo with the focus. It's going to be very scary to go for that focus if Larry gets a read on it. But a very, very clever usage of the um, focus attack to punish the wolf. That's a classic wolf uh, finding a back air at the ledge to kill. And if you're able to find the focus attack there, it's going to make it much easier to get back to the stage. We see Larry you know, forcing his opponent to guess more, you now putting him in shield for just a little bit longer so that he can get those drafts. Four tail sending Extraordinary off stage, not finding the kill. 147%, most things will kill from uh, Wolf here. Dash attack is not one of them. I'm sorry, I didn't mean um, most. I mean a few things will kill here. 
Um, very good parry, uh, dash back immediately, avoiding the last hitbox of the up smash. Oh, but catches the two frame on the Shoryu right there. Yeah, the Shoryu can went a little bit too high there, and he was able to four tilt the tilts there. Oh, oh trying to get a combo. Unfortunately, not going to get the level two focus. It's absolutely okay to get hit with that focus as long as you're not uh, on the ground doing it. So a jump in forward air will uh, not not lead into a uh, stock like a, a grounded option will. Oh, almost getting the landing on the air dodge too. Going for a back air there. Focus attack from Extraordinary. Back air is going to send him off stage. Now, this is a completely different Larry than we've seen from game one. Yeah, he's semping, setting the tempo extremely well here. Ooh, try to cover the uh, air dodge down with a four tilt, but covering the focus attack cancel with an up smash, and Larry's up three stocks to one. Ooh, went for a raw back air, Larry. Uh, sneaking under it, not the, the hitbox didn't even come out. And now, Larry, you're in the pressure. You're in a, again, you're at the ledge against Wolf is going to be very uh, difficult for a Shoto. So they're trying to landing against Wolf because yeah. he's able to you know, dash away and then run up and grab you for it if you try shielding. Or even if you, right before you land, you try throwing out a hitbox, you can you know, use the ditch horn to the board tilt to kind of beat it out too. Doesn't matter if you have a down tilt shard, you can. Extraordinary is able to take the stock, but has a mountain to climb against Larry. Punishing the focus attack cancel. Both trying to go for a back air there, ni uh, neither of them hitting, but. Uh, ooh, going for a show, you cannot getting punished by Larry. Using his double jump, just staying, weaving in and out of where Ken's able to uh, attack. And we see that walking animation, you know, showing that he's really just trying to bait him right close so that he can get the immediate punish afterwards as well. And look at that, just impeccable spacing right there, too. Down throw, sending uh, Extraordinary back to stage. Gonna go for a two frame attempt, trading with the first hit of the four tilt into the show, you can, but that four tilt should be able to take it. And Larry Lurs, that was an absolutely different Larry. You we were, um, I think what I was saying there was extraordinary in the first game was able to set the pace against a character with less movement options as Falco. But now you see Larry really coming to his own, utilizing that laser, utilizing his uh, disjointed moves and, and uh, movement to kind of bait extraordinary and set the pace of the match. I feel like the key star of that show was Wolf's War Tail. Yep. Now Wolf's War Tail allows Wolf to play the slow game, playing the, the bait and switch game, where like, oh, you think I'm gonna be here? I'm gonna walk ever so slightly and catch your landing with Boratel. Exactly. Or, hey, you're trying to approach me, I'm gonna throw out this disjointed move, and you, it's gonna be really hard for you to punish it on the ground at the very least. Going to Northern Kib against Wolf, a very interesting kick, but um, immediately starting with a Tatsu, Larry, you know, laughed in the face of death, took the Tatsu into a, and grabbed him for it. Oh, dash attack, catching his jump right there. Interesting choice. And falling uh, aerial from Ken's not going to be able to convert into much. Oh, gets the turnaround. Yeah. Oh, gets oh. The, oh, he read the turnaround or the... The roll. Yeah, the roll. Oh! oh. The down smash um, covering that uppy that wasn't uh, close enough to snap to the legend. Uh, now, Larry with a very early lead here. You know what? I feel like if that was Charlie, that backer would have been an immediate will flash. Yeah. I feel like that's like the main difference between Charlie and Larry, that Larry is playing the more longer neutral place game, while Charlie is like, he hits you once and he's trying to kill you off of it. Exactly, it's a difference between neutral and punish. Down tilt into the crescent kick, sending Larry off stage, shielding the wolf flash. Now it's a ledge trap situation, going for the shore you can, the auto turn around, assisting but not hitting. Oh, gets in there off stage. I thought he was going to up the <laughs> that, I'm so used to watching Charlie, but that forward smash covering the end lag of the short you can. Landing lag, I'm sorry. Yeah, we see Extraordinary kind of being a little bit lost on how to approach this wolf. Forward tilt sending into attack. Down throw, dash attack. Larry looking extremely dominant here. Going for that down smash to cover the uh, jump back to the ledge. Oh, I thought we were going to see a flash. Sure, you can do a cover landing, though. Hitting a button a little bit too late there, getting put into the end lag, and Extraordinary is able to punish it. And these fairs are just destroying focus. You know, he can't throw it out fast enough in order to punish it. Yep, but the disjointed move is definitely going to help out in that. Side B into going for a jab there, but like you said there with the bait and switch, finding the forward tilt off of that uh, uh, cross up. Catches him holding shield for that split, split second. Gets him off stage. There we go. Now he's looking for the ledge trap situation. Catches the landing with the up tilt. Not going to be able to take it, but going oh. for an up smash there, and the dash attack going to be able to cover the end lag. And yeah. Larry, you know, when Falco game one realized I need to go my wolf here, was able to uh, play very, very well there um, with the wolf, setting the tempo of the match very, very well with Laser and his disjointed four there.